Hello, sorry for the delay. I didn't realize it was recording. Hello, this is Uncle here. Welcome to uh, Any Usher Season 2 view. I didn't even realize I didn't do a view to this. Whoops, my bad. So I'm just going to go off by memory here because I don't like be watching like 27 episodes of Season 2. But I'm just going off by memory here. So what happened in Season 2, basically, we get the introductions of new villains like Kagawa. I think Ren was introduced in this season. Like we get introduced into um, Naraku's clones in this season, and it's a cool introduction to his clones. Oh man, that's a cool introduction to his clones. And then we also get one of the best two parters in this season, which is him getting with Inuyasha learning how to use his Sasaka. Because if you don't know, his Sasaka was broken to one of his clones. To one of Naku's clones. And yep. And it really helps struggle through the character because now he has to re relearn how to use the Tetsaga because of how he lost his ability to use the Tetsaga. And now he's got a new ability called um, The Backwash Rave. The Backwatch Wave, which is introduced into the finale of Season 2, which is a pretty good finale, ain't gonna lie. But I really enjoyed this season. It's a pretty good season. No, no lies, no jokes. It's a pretty good season. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably one of the better seasons if between the first three seasons. Season 4, Season 5, and Season 6 of the Goats, and Season 7 is an okay season. This point. The final act is an okay season, just at this point, let down. But that said, I really enjoyed the season. It's really good. I think it holds up pretty well from when I last watched it. I think it's probably one of the best seasons out there. But with that said, I really enjoyed it. It's probably really, really good from what I remember. The character development that happens in the season is pretty good. But with that said, I really enjoyed this season. It's amazing. But with that said, I'm going to sign off. It's been a quick review from the Inuyasha Season 2 review. I don't got much to say about season because I'm just going off by memory. I guess we get introduced to some new villains in the season. I can't remember that much because I'm going off by memory. But I guess we get introduced to Kago, which is one of the most interesting villains in the series, Kagawa is probably one of the most interesting villains, and it's probably the most likable villains in the series because of how likable she ends up being evil. And she's so likable. And Ren, it's just Ren. Not Ren, I mean, um, Kana. Kana is just Kana. There's not really much to a character. And the other ones are just forgettable, just kind of vibe. Basic can fire for the show. That's about it. There really isn't nothing to them except for Kana and maybe Kana and Kagawa, especially Kagawa. Kagawa is really the best clone from Yasha. And I was kind of disappointed when she had to kill like two episodes in in the final act. <laughs> like, you kill her two episodes in? Are you serious? You can have kept her a little bit longer? Just saying. Just, just saying. And anyway, with that said, this is going to sign off. I joined season two of Inuyasha. And I'll see you in the next one. And remember, stay big, Inuyasha fans.